Hello, my friends. Happy Earth Week. We're still celebrating Earth Day all week long, and it's wonderful. And so I wanted to talk to you today about respecting and protecting nature. And my lovely dear friend June is here to help me. Hi, June. Hi. <laughs> so, June, why do we visit nature? Because it's fun and it can make you feel better and make all of your worries go away. Mm, absolutely. What are some things that you can do when you're in nature? What you can do is nature and you is you can just walk around, play in the woods. Mm -hmm. I enjoy walking and just seeing where the nature takes me. That's really nice. What can you do with your eyes while you're in nature? You can look at things mm -hmm. that you're not sure it's okay to touch. Mm. Can we touch everything in, in the forest? Probably not. No, certainly not. Um, so we like to take walks. Can you go for scavenger hunts yes. in nature? Absolutely, yes. As long as the things are hidden in reasonable spots. <laughs> yes, it's very, very wise. Very, very wise. If you were going to collect something in nature, is it okay to collect everything that you see in nature? Probably not. No? Because then you would have too many things and you might be taking things that might belong to critters. Mm, you're right. So if I wanted to take an acorn, would that be okay? Yes, as long as you didn't take like every single acorn in sight. Mm -hmm, that's right. What if I wanted to take a rotten log? Would that be a good idea? Probably not. Why not? Because a lot of animals like to live underneath or in rotten logs, mm -hmm. like bugs. Right. So is that respecting and protecting nature no. if we take something's home or something's food? No. No, not certainly not. Absolutely. <clears throat> Pardon me. Would it be okay to look under a rotten log? If you're very gentle, then yes. Mm -hmm. Probably. Mm -hmm. No, I think that it's okay to look under a rotten log as long as you can do it gently without destroying the log, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, what might you find under a rotten log? Insects. <coughs> and moss. Mm, yes. Lichen. What if you found a salamander under a rotten log? Could we bring that home? No. No, why we not? Because it's nature. Mm -hmm. It's it's wild, right? It's a wild animal. What if you find a baby bunny in the woods? Should you bring it home? No. Why not? Because its mother might be coming to look for it, and if its little bunny is gone, she might worry. And also, bunnies aren't made for living with humans. Mm, wild rabbits in the forest are definitely not made for living with humans. You're right. That's exactly right. So, if you're out walking and you see a hole in the forest floor, if you're carrying a stick, is it a good idea to, to poke your stick down in that hole and wiggle it around? No. Why not? There might be critters underneath and you don't want to hurt them. Mm, that's right. So, it's, there's a very good chance that that hole could be someone's home. An animal might live there. And so if you stick your stick down there, then it might cave the whole thing in and destroy someone's den, right? Yeah, so that probably wouldn't be a very good thing. Certainly not. What if you are out walking in the woods and you eat a granola bar? What should you do with the wrapper? Can you just set it down? No. You should put it in your pocket, or if you brought a garbage bag, you should put it in your garbage bag. Mm -hmm, that's right. If you see litter in the woods, should you pick it up with your bare hands? No, you should always bring gloves or a bag or something to carry garbage, because if that garbage was dirty, you don't want to hurt yourself. That's right. Absolutely. And what do we say in the forest? We say, leave nothing but your feet. Your footprints, footprints, right? Leave nothing but your footprints. Absolutely. So there you have it, my friends. When we travel around in nature, it's up to us to help to protect it. We have to respect the things that we see, all of the living 
organisms in the forest. There are so many and we have to respect them and we have to protect them. Happy Earth Week, everyone. Thanks, June. You're welcome. Bye, my friends. See you next time. Bye.